here's Donald Trump. He uh, apparently has said, let's see, should we start with three? And then uh, this is on Friday. Yeah. <clears throat> he uh, met with Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu. I've actually seen some people, maybe we'll play, uh, uh, like we'll show the, the tweets on this. I've seen some, uh, you know, post leftist or whatever they, you know, uh, non whatever leftist for Trump, supposedly oh, gosh. Uh, claim that Donald Trump has really stuck it to Netanyahu. Um, uh, versus Kamala And by Harris. stuck it, you mean stuck his tongue in his mouth? I mean, pretty close. Here is uh, President Trump. Now, you may have seen footage or heard audio of Donald Trump six to eight months ago pre-Miriam Adelson basically giving him money to annex and the saying, West Bank. Uh, annex the West Bank for this $100 million pack uh, money. Here is um, here is President Trump after that fact meeting with Israeli Prime Minister in Florida uh, at um, I guess in a in the the uh, study room at Mar a Lago or somewhere I don't know where it is. Go ahead. Uh, I think her remar remarks were disrespectful. They weren't very nice. He pauses. Oh, pause it. We should say he's he's referring to Kamala Harris's uh, uh, remarks. That yeah, we're, you know, from our perspective, uh, didn't go nearly far enough. Right. Uh, but uh, Donald Trump is going to characterize them as having gone too far. I wonder how much BB agrees with that. Well, Probably a lot. That's what he told Axios. Apparently, uh, they were very unhappy with how cold Harris was in comparison to Biden in that meeting. Probably because the bear hug Netanyahu strategy has been a disaster. Yeah, and from a policy standpoint, Trita Parsi pointed out, like I think the rhetoric may be, get overplayed, but she did point out to Net out Netanyahu as the impediment to the ceasefire talks, which is uh, different than Biden. Exactly. Logan. Uh, I think her remar remarks were disrespectful. They weren't very nice pertaining to Israel. I actually don't know how a person who's Jewish can vote for her, but uh, that's up to them. But she was certainly disrespectful to Israel, in my opinion. Um, Mr. Trump, has your relationship with the prime minister repaired at all? No, it's, it was never bad. We was, uh, I would say it was always... The president has done it was never bad. Well, that's good. Um, he was a little bit upset that Netanyahu uh, recognized Biden as the president in 2020. Yeah, it, it took him a while to get over that. Um, I cannot tell you how sick I am of <laughs> other Jews or Gentiles uh, explaining to me uh, whether I'm a good Jew or not. Um, I saw somebody say this about, like, if you're against Shapiro as the VP pick, it's anti-Semitism. Honestly, like... It, 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 it was the first time I even contemplated swearing on uh, uh, on Twitter in years. Um, I think I, that what I was going to uh, quote tweet, it was like, uh, uh, pardon fucking me, uh, but uh, I didn't. But here is Donald Trump going even further. Let me tell you something. 65 to 75% of Jews in this country vote for the Democratic presidential nominee. That is both a historical fact and I get, I get some very bad news for Donald Trump. It is also a fact in November. It is not going to change. It is not going to change. Wait, if let's hear anything, him out. But let's hear what he's I mean, got maybe this pitch will work. The Democrats hate Israel. The Democrats largely hate Israel the Jewish people. It's time for the Jewish people to step up and vote for Republicans and vote for Donald Trump and we're going to save Israel. Thank you very much. We love you, Stanley. We love you, Stanley. Thank you, Donald. Um, Will you be the Jew that steps up, Sam? I got to get my cojones going or my uh, my I got to get my matzo balls in order and step up and uh, vote for uh, Donald Trump. No. Kanye will be looking at someone that saved the Jews. Uh, it's the prophecy. It, 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 the. The idea that this is going to motivate any um, uh, Jews to vote for Donald Trump, I think it's really just honestly about uh you know miriam adelson and a couple other maybe like uh right-wing uh um you know israeli supporters yeah 
Yeah. Trump giving it to Netanyahu is that does he mean they mean like giving the embassy to where he wants it, Jerusalem? That's um that's what Adelson's um uh, ask was last time. Yep. And uh Trump meeting with Netanyahu. I know no one cares about the Logan Act and it's vi it's in viol it's <laughs> violated all the time. I mean, including I guess a few weeks ago by Donald Trump meeting with Viktor Orban, but if you're not in government, you're not supposed to be doing any kind of meetings with uh, foreign dignitaries that would approach some sort of official promises as it relates to United States. Especially ones policy. taking a massive, uh, uh, you know, outlays from our military industrial complex, maybe yeah. might be some sort of, uh, you know. Top recipient of our military aid, it's technically against the law, but I guess... Maybe that's why the, the lighting in the room was so damn dim in that clip. It's under the cloak of darkness. It's, yeah, BB wasn't even there. You can't there. even see him. Is that it really? a body double. Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.